I grew up in New York. My first exposure to nightclubs was making friends with my neighbor who ran the lights at a venue called The Ritz. It's on 11th Street between 3rd and 4th Avenue. It's now called Webster Hall. He would sneak me into the lighting booth when I was 12 to watch the rap shows, Run DMC, UTFO. I saw Nucleus perform Jam On It with an eight-piece band. Before and after the shows, the house DJ would mix with vinyl and I was fascinated. I would stare at his hands trying to figure out where one song ended and the next one began. It was a rotary mixer and he did those long, slow New York style mixes with no EQ, no cuts. Just a rolling groove telling a story as he mixed. In this day and age of low attention spans and instant gratification, something I'm guilty of myself, it felt very special to have such an open-minded crowd at this show. I know some of the people that came out that night and their musical tastes include dubstep, deep house, tech house, techno, drum and bass, trap, across the board of dance music. But this night they came out with absolute patience and trust and gave me the chance to sink into the thing I have such passion for telling a story with a long set. It's kind of like reading a book versus seeing a movie. The movie could be great with special effects and visuals and definitely leave you entertained, but there's a deeper experience when you read the book. Slowly, page by page, taking the time to envelop in the characters and the emotion of the story. For me, that's where I'm most comfortable. This night in New York reminded me of my days at Sona in Montreal when I did eight-hour sets on a regular basis. I would stop at 10 a.m. and we'd sit outside the parking lot on the hood of the promoter's car and you could still hear people on the dance floor making beats with their hands and feet asking for one more, not wanting to leave. Escala's crowd came to dance and hear songs they've never heard before, to be surprised and wowed by some classics, to experience some techno with a completely open mind and positive vibe. It was such a joy and an honor to play my favorite 80 or so tracks of now and the past. This was one of the most complete nights of music for me and reminded me that even in the era of the festival and the giant stages, it can still be done this way. Thank you, New York. I'll see you in the fall. What a night. I met you talking. <laughs> so we have to, we have to yeah. see like... Morning, everybody. Matches. Matching. Oh yeah! <laughs> when you're a pro in the nightclub scene, you always take your sunglasses with you to the gig because you never know how late you're going to stay up. Right? I'm smart. You can see a rookie comes out of the after party and the sun is like... And a pro has his sunglasses. She is well, Max can go in with his sunglasses and be like, hey, bros. I'm ready. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <I'm farting. laughs> exactly. <laughs> you can feel the grannies. <laughs>